morning. I stepped away from the truck. Oh, I should have shut it off. Oh well, I'll get to it in a minute. There's my truck over there. I am in, go away. I am in one of the tightest spots I've been in in quite a while. Lynn Haven, Florida, which is basically Panama City. And uh, we're in a furniture store. Yeah, they got their crew in there starting it on it now. I don't know where they're gonna put this stuff. This store is full already. Kind of thing, and they're still restocking from the storm a year ago. But uh, I don't know the name of the store, otherwise I'd give them a little uh, free advertisement or something. Doesn't mean to say. I don't know. But it's down here on 77, Lynn Haven, 2116 something or another. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't know. But um, they got plenty of product if you want to go hunting. But anyway, this is a very tight spot. And I'm not going to go into that. It's the tightest spot I've been in in quite a while. I'll walk around. You can look at the background. But um, I basically want to just... Oh, i got to put my hands up there. Documenting. This is day five of the Shakeology, my personal Shakeology challenge. I gotta say that, basically trying to protect myself from uh, anybody twisting my words around, you know, upper management and the beach body Shakeology thing. I mean, I'm not expecting that, but I wanna be clear that I'm taking this upon myself to do this. They're not telling me to do this. They're not saying it's a program. Their program is basically, you know, one shake a day, you know, and eat sensible and exercise that that the summary version but as we've noticed go against the grain with schedule anyway so day five okay i got to sleep in a little bit this morning woke up feeling really good make this somewhat shorter as you look at the background that's the intersection i come in on basically a two-lane road but it's more like a lane and a half when you're trying to use a truck and I'll walk, I'll turn slowly this way. And see if you can see the other end of the road. And he turns right down there. I thought I was gonna come in that way, but that don't matter to you unless you do a satellite view and you don't have the address. So I'm going into windbag mode. So let's back off of windbag mode, go back to Shakeology. Feeling really good. This is day five, day five, and uh, Oh, I know where I was going with that. This is basically pointless information. I don't know if I could say that or not. Anyway, let's just say I got curious again. And since my scale was still left out in the middle of the floor, sort of, in my room, I hopped on it this morning. Now back up. Monday, I was 191. Uh, what was yesterday? Thursday morning, I stepped on the scale and I told you yesterday that that was, that according to the scale, yada, 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 it said 188. Well, I did the same thing this morning. Just Now it's just pure curiosity. Whoop, tripping over my own feet. I should stand still. And um, maybe I should put my back against something so I don't get run over and stand still. I'll do that. Right. Lean against this while we talk. And uh, I hopped on a scale this morning and it said 186. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. Now, of course, I think nobody will argue with me on, uh, you know, the first five, really up to 10 pounds even. Eh, not that big a deal. I mean, it is, but it isn't. When you're starting off, the first five pounds or so, it's probably just cleaning out your system. Nobody really wants to talk about that, but, you know, we all know we're full of it. And it takes a while to get some of that out of there. But with that being said, I noticed on the way down here, yeah, that is, that is, that is so true. I feel thinner. I mean, I can't tell nothing by looking in the mirror or nothing, but uh, I feel thinner. I don't have none of that bloat feeling going on anymore. This is like day five, so you know, I want to say about a week which would still be right, but about a week, you know? I don't like the bloat feeling going on no more. And 
I don't really see any difference. According to the scale, I, there's a difference, but I don't feel it. I don't, well, I, I'm getting tongue tied. I do feel it, I don't see it. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm shaking the camera all over the place. And I'm at five minutes. So I wanna wrap this up real quick. I'm feeling really good. The headache thing, I added water. Not dealing with that anymore. Tomorrow, we're gonna do a better film because it's a weekend for one. We get more options. We're going to go to the Harley Davidson stunt show. Uh, avoid food over there because they're catering it. And uh, what else was it? Oh, and my wife's going to fill you in on what she's doing because she'll be done with her lunch. Well, she might wait till Saturday. I hope not. Maybe she'll tell you tomorrow. Maybe she'll hint at it tomorrow. But she started off with what they call the three day refresh, which you may or not may not remember. In a couple videos before, six minutes. Oh, man. I uh, put me like a, I do have a timer up there. That doesn't help. Hmm. Maybe I should just shoot for seven minutes and stop early. Hello. Anyway, so maybe she'll give you an update on that. I've already got a sneak peek. And it's pleasantly surprising. And that's going to have to work for me. Because I'm really trying to cut my times down, but I'm starting to think that's not going to happen. I'm going to be like your seven minute man or something. Maybe we can come up with something for that. I don't know. But this works for me.